So now we're on to the border corners pack and we're gonna crack this open and see what's inside here. As usual, we have the bag packs. Looks like we've got two packs, the right side and the left side. And I am going to start with the left side just because that's how it goes in the Dear Jane book. I'll set these aside and we'll do this in a minute. And then we have the booklet. And so these are the ones that are modified. And it looks like two of the four are modified. So the bottom left and the bottom right are modified. And I'm going to set those aside. And we're going to start on page 222 or 122. It's in the middle of after the blocks before the triangles is where this is in the book. So it's, this is going to be the top left corner, which is not a modified. And it's a matter of opening this and seeing what kind of pieces we have. So I will start sorting and see what we got going on here. Oh, this is going to be interesting. So we've got octagons, and if you do it with the wrong edge, it's going to not fit right. So you have to make sure that your short edge goes in the right spot. So I'm going to go ahead and see. It looks like we got all these little tiny triangles in here to put. So I'll get placing. So I've got my pieces laid out. This is an applique for this section here. And I'm going to label these TL for top left. You can, if I can, if I, my ink pen will work. And we've got these little teeny tiny things going on here. So now I'm going to mark my focus fabric, and it's going to be all of the octagons are going to be focus fabric. And I'm going to mark directional. Oh no, this I have I have three of my four corners that are directional, and this is the one that is not. So I don't have to mark directional. But I'm going to bag these up, and then I'll go to the next one, which is the bottom left. So now we're at the bottom left, and the bottom left is modified, so we're going to go to the diagram here. And I'm actually going to put this directly on, oops, directly on the table because it's a little wider than the book is. And then we're going to place our strips. And we have a lot less triangles to deal with now because that's, there's a lot of, there's a lot going on here. So they've simplified it to make it the same type of design but easier to accomplish. So I'm going to make sure that I've got all the right size triangles in the right location and place my pieces as I go around. So I was lining these up and they weren't quite lining up all the time and come to find out we have two sizes of these two triangles. These are a little smaller than these, I mean by a tiny, tiny bit. So if I put these next to each other you can see that this one's just a little shorter than that one. This is the one that goes around this. So I've sorted those all out, and those are these four here. And then these are going to be in the ones that I just, because I had to pull them out of my center. So I'm going to go back and put these back where they belong, now that I know which size goes where, and finish up my layout. So I've got my pieces all laid out, and I will label these BL for the bottom left. Now it's time to mark my focus fabric. You can kind of do what you want to do. Um, I'm trying to stick with the original, sort of. They took out this center star. But here, this is background color on the original, so we're going to do these as focus fabric because it's a two color. And so this is background. This is focus fabric. 
So there should be eight, eight of those, and then go to the next. These are focus fabric. Mm -hmm. Eight. So you've got an Ohio star kind of thing here with background. You got your focus fabric on your stars and then the background to fill in around that and then a border of focus fabric surrounded by background. I am going to mark my directional because I do have a directional fabric and then I'll bag this up and move on to the next bag in this pack. So now we're going to do the other bag which is the right hand side and I had flipped over this paper and so we actually have a modification for the top right corner but the bottom right is already on here so I'm going to work from this and I'm going to dump out my bag. So this is for the bottom right corner because this is just one piece with a hexes on it. So we are going to work with these pieces, which is minus the hexes. All these other pieces are in here. All these little tiny triangles. So these are for the other one. And the rest of these go on here. So we're going to have this for the background. I'm going to set this here though. And then work on the rest of this placement for the star and things. So I got all of my pieces laid out and now I'm going to label these. So I have my pieces laid out. Now it's time to mark for focus fabric. You can either have this be background or focus fabric. I'm going to use it as focus fabric and then have the inner part of these triangle pieces be background. So these are all going to be focus fabric and unfortunately I have a directional focus fabric so I will have to mark all of these with arrows as well. And this is also focus fabric. That's background. So let's see here, I've got everything. So now I'm going to mark my directional. And it's a stripe type thing. So I'm going to actually do this radiation with the star. And then on here, I will do everything in the same direction. And then I will put this in a baggie and get to the last one. So the last corner, very simple. Here's my background piece and my hexagons. And I will lay these out and label them and mark them for focus fabric and directional and all that fun stuff. So I've got them labeled and in this case because I only have two colors I'm going to do focus fabric on the outside and I'm going to leave this as background fabric. This is background. It can be whatever you want it to be. And then I'm oops, and then I'm going to mark my directional and bag this up and I am now done with the border corner bag sort.